Hi folks, Will Stone, Rugged Mountain Custom RV here in Caldwell, Idaho with one that everybody's been waiting for for a while. This is the big brother in our Polar series. You remember the Polar 860 and 990s both have slide outs and we'll show you that on the other side. But this is the 990, so long box rig only. This one is equipped with a generator. It's got all the goodies on it and, and we'll talk about that. We'll do, we'll do an action option uh, segment here on one of our videos. Just so the folks out there that view our stuff realize everything that they can put on if they want to talk to the dealer first and have us build one like that. So wood frame construction, all select grade uh, wood, um, plywood everywhere. No OSB, no strand board, no MFD, and no particle board, only kiln dried high end plywood all the way through this. Um, so we'll kind of cover some of the features here on this guy. What we really want to do, this will be pretty, pretty repetitive of our other videos that we've done, but it's the inside of the 990 that everybody wants to see because this is the long bed version of the 860 so we get a, we get just a ton more storage we get a bigger refrigerator but we'll get all that till we get in the inside so fresh tank fill and the tank capacities on these guys it's got 36 gallons of fresh water that's including the water heater 24 and 24 on the gray and black holding tanks while we're touching on that our past 990s have never been a full four season rig now that's all we're doing from from this coach forward is making full four season rigs so all three tanks are underneath. We are we have the diamond plate protection on the outside of the basement to you know just just to protect the truck. We used to put glass on there like we were using the outside, but this gives it a more rugged look. And now what, another thing that we have changed is behind the aluminum diamond plate, we're doing a foam backer on the basement because that adds a little bit more uh, R value. Up in the walls, we're still doing the batten insulate uh, fiberglass insulation. So here's your city water connection. Box that up. Uh, 990s that everybody has seen in the past already only had one battery, so we've done the dual battery tray. Again, we can pull that tray out and put two T105 six bolts if you go with the Trojans. You've got lots of battery options, but we can do two batteries now instead of one. So we thought that was something that really needed to happen. Here's your power cord. So we've got a 30 foot power cord. Again, there's, there's so many that just are buying smaller cords because they're cheaper. One of the big things that we did was we, had, we used to have the battery disconnect in the kitchen galley, but with our slide models, we said, that's not working. We've got to get that battery disconnect outside. So it is located right about here. You just reach up in there, pull the key out, put the key in, and that's your battery disconnect system. Made it just a lot easier to get to. So here's the back of our refrigerator. And like I said, it's a six cubic foot reefer freezer. Um, here's our outside shower with courtesy light. And I'll show you a little bit more about this. This is, this is actually a pretty cool shower. So just got done with PDI, so we see a little bit of antifreeze here still. But we've got this little guy here that we can hook it to. Kids can shower out here. You can shower off the dogs and all that kind of thing. But the neat thing about this one, hot and cold, so you can get it to the desired temp, and then you just shut it off just like that. So when we turn it back on, it comes out at that temp that we've already chosen. There's no monkey in with these things, which is kind of cool. We want to make it easy to take it easy. Um, storage in here. And again, inch thick storage doors all the way around with clips. And we'll show you how nicely finished we're, uh, we're doing with the uh, interior of these things these days. So that's kind of giving you a little preview to the uh, decorative panel that we went with when we changed the interior colors. So around the back side here, bumper again made in-house, storage, self-draining. We're, we're working on a step right now, especially when we get to the two granite series. Right now we're okay because this is this is easily, we can get in and out of this, out of the two polars very easily. But on the granites, we've got a big, quite a bit higher step. But we are in the process of figuring out steps for both of them as far as a locking system. So, this is our holding tank area. So you can see our turnpipe here. Uh, gray knife valve, black knife valve, all nicely finished. That's new for 2019. I'm pull this door all the way out. So 96 inches of storage drawer. A 
Behind door number three, 2500 Owen and Cummins generator. LED lights, turn signals, brake markers, running lights, every light on the inside, all LED. Okay, so 990 has a slide. Um, we'll cover a couple of things here. I think we, we haven't done this in a while. So if I can get you to come in here a little bit closer. This is a dual wiper system that we use. So when I pull this first wiper out of the way, you can see there's a secondary wiper back in there in addition to the bulb seal. All one piece. So we're not piecing things together and gluing things together. We think that this makes the best system. And then also on one of our other videos, we talk about the sidewall construction and the, and the roof construction of our slides and why they're superior, why they will not leak. Up here, we've got our two five gallon LP bottles with gauges on both. So let's get a close up of that. That's, this is kind of cool. I haven't seen anything else out there in the market that will actually tell you where you're sitting on LP. All right, let's jump inside. This is the exciting part for us guys, and this is, we have the girls in the office, uh, Anka Collinsworth, everybody. We left it up to them to pick the colors, and we walked by these colors for a week or two and said, let's even get lighter than we were. But what we were aiming to do was get lighter doors, lighter Luan board, and then with, we wanted to update the colors on the inside. So we have two colors in the polar that are brand new. This is the darker of the two on um, both the lighter color and we have it we will name them um, let's just call one dark one light for right now but really got they're, they're really sharp colors and they really modernize it but more than anything because the truck camper segment is going farther off the beaten trail we're doing things like the 170 watt ZAM solar panel we're doing the generator on board uh, we made a big bigger 12 volt uh, holding system with the dual trays uh, with room for six volts but in addition to all that we wanted to lighten the interior of these things just so you don't have to have lights on when you're using your camper. So that was one of the big, big things. So we, we hope you guys like it and we're looking for some feedback. Um, we'll cover some of the storage. Obviously under the bench we have storage and we can access that up top as well. So you'll notice plywood, nice thick storage down below on the, on the uh, booth step. Just repeating the same storage here. I've got my camera roll hanging out the back door. <laughs> Come on up and we'll check this out. So with the 990, you'll notice, you know, just by adding length to the, the rig itself, we get a lot more storage in the 990 than we do the 860. So this is the pull-out pantry, and we've got, we'll put the baskets on here. They come with three of them. Uh, so those will, they'll be in the rig when you get it. Hanging closet, we've got drawer storage. Drawer storage. Our famous counter extension just pulls right out. It's really neat. You don't have to go digging around for it in any of the other cupboards or anything like that. It just pulls over, lock shut, and away you go. Uh, wiring, um, this is your jack actuator uh, with the timer and then the jack actuator itself is located right by the back door. So it's you don't have to come all the way in here when you're going to load it and unload it off your truck. Over on this side, we'll start down below. Two full pull storage drawers. Got our six gallon reefer, or excuse me, six cubic foot reefer for refrigerator freezer. All adjustable trays, all that kind of thing. Right here, we've got our monitor panel. Shows us battery condition, fresh tank, uh, gray tank, black tank, all that stuff, all our levels on that thing. And then the Cummins on uh, generator start, stop, prime switch, and hour meter. Um, this is our thermometer for the uh, furnace, and then up above, we're We've got our Dometic Penguin 2 Low Pro High Output 10,000 BTU air conditioner. Uh, standard stove oven combo that everybody's putting in. Now with this thing we also do a stainless steel package as an option and, and like I say we'll cover that in one of our other videos for you guys. Microwave, lots of storage up in the galley. And I'll let Christine kind of pan around in the in the front end there. So we've got hamper storage on both sides. 
storage up front on either side. And then a nice big hanging closet right here. Four speakers and then up above, you'll see the roof egress, the fire egress up above. We've got USB ports and 12 volt plugs up in the front as well as in, you can see those right by the uh, side of the bed there. And then we've also got an AM FM, this is the Fury, an AM FM CD DVD player and it has a USB port in it as well. So. This covers the 990, and I'm sorry guys it took us so long to get one of these in front of you just to be able to see it again, but we're really excited about this. So remember, if you want to slide uh, and you're a long box truck, the Polar 990 by Rugged Mountain will be the, uh, that'll be the camper for you. Thank you guys.